Hello, friends. Welcome to Squared Plans, where creative planning and organization comes to life. I'm Stephanie, and today I'll be showing you how I'm setting up my planner to achieve my December monthly goals. So let's get planning. And I've got this Tombow brush tip marker here, along with some washi tape, this Happy Planner sticker book, and this Planning Things sticker book, which I'll pull from. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down some wax paper and lay out this month's design. I think I'm gonna use a slightly traditional looking Christmas style theme. And I recently saw these garland or boughs or I don't know what you call these things to be honest. Um, but I saw this and I thought that this would be a nice way to frame out this spread without taking up too much room where I need to use it functionally. So I'm going to start by taking this large one and cutting it down so that I can use it in the corners. Again, kind of trying to maximize that functional space. I did find that this was a slight bit awkward the way that I cut it. So there's a lot of finagling here until I get it just how I want it without adding a bunch of extra stuff to it. So I think if I get these bows kind of in the corner there at the top and then on the side and just finish out the edge there with a little bit of that extra sticker, I can make it work. I'm happy with that for now. So let's see what else we have. I think I'll just do basically the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna pre-cut it with my precision cutter since that'll make it a little bit easier and I'll just cut right against the bow so it's a nice clean cut and then I'll work the excess around it to finish it off. And that worked out a lot better, I think, as far as beginning the start of the layout here on the right. And just kind of did the same thing with the excess to finish things off. Looking through the sticker book, see if there's anything else I want to bring in. And then I remembered I wanted to bring in some washi here at the bottom. Again, kind of low profile. So I have plenty of functional space. I also pulled my uh, girls, no, go getter. I don't remember what this is called. Girl, girl with goals, I think. I've already forgotten the name of the sticker book. But anyway, I pulled this goal sticker book out and thought that would be good for maybe a quote or two across maybe the middle. That's what I'm thinking. And originally I was going to pull this nice, large, working hard quote in black, but then I thought it was a little bit much. So we're going to go with one that's a little bit skinnier and, and smaller. It just says work, 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 which I do need to do some work, 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 work in December, I tell you. It's going to be a busy month. And I've added in this other quote that I've cut up, kind of in the same styling, but a little bit different, and only picked three out of the five checkmark quote things there to put in the middle. I'll also pull in a few of these flag stickers, just for a little added decor. And looking through the book, trying to see if there's anything else I want to bring in. Um, let's pull in some color here for the right side. I'll grab some red and green small boxes so that I can label the tops for the week. And was thinking maybe I would do something different than those flags, but uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll add in some of this green washi that I didn't show in the beginning, but was included as a set with that red washi at the bottom. Maybe I can bring that in along the edges of some of the boxes as more of like a highlight line. We'll see. I'll cut it in half and then try to lay it in. I decided to go with the red in the middle and then use the green at the bottom because I felt like that was a nice balance of green at the top and green at the bottom with the red in the middle. 
that was definitely, I think, the, a good decision in the end. However, I cut this washi really wonky, so I'm doing some adjustments on some of them to try to make them look a little bit more symmetrical. And there you can see how the green washi will look at the bottom, but we'll just go ahead and do that straight on the paper. I like this. Let's go ahead and move things over. We'll start with this upper corner. Let's get that kind of placed there. Get the right angle. That's a little bit tricky. And then get in that washi. So on this one, I started by cutting off the trimming and then realized I wanted it to be a little bit more full below the bow. And I'll try to work it so that I can get a little extra out of the excess trimming there and, and make it feel a little more full. And I like how that turned out. I also trimmed off the washi tape. And now we'll add in the quote and then the second washi here down below, trimming it with my precision cutter there, just right on the sheet. Adding that little flag and then the quotes too. Definitely want to make sure that that center piece is, you know, feel centered. So I'm gonna put the two sides first and then kind of center that piece after. Makes it a little bit easier to judge where exactly to put it. And then going back through, cleaning up these washi tapes as I lay them in and layering those with the black flag stickers. This one was super wonky, so I just went in with my scissors and tried to trim it up a little bit. And then also we'll trim that edge and lay in the flag. But first I think I need to lay in the sticker so that it doesn't interfere with the placement of the flag. And again, just trying to get the positioning right. We'll trim it and try to reuse those excess pieces, complete things. And I found that that one was a little bit trickier, so I just had to layer it and then recut it there right on the page and then laid in the flag. So that's looking pretty good. We'll trim off the excess and then Get that washi tape laid in as well, so we'll see how they all look together. And I'm liking these vibes. Very Christmassy, very traditional Christmas, which I really like. So we'll put the green washi there on the bottom on the other page as well. Start dropping in some of these other items. Starting with this long quote. And then these colorful boxes. Again, we'll have to lay in the background sticker here first before we lay in the top boxes. I trimmed off a little bit of excess of the clear sticker there because I am overlapping in some of the functional space. That way I can at least get as close to the sticker as I possibly can when I'm writing without it being a big gap between where I can write and where the sticker design actually starts. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Laying in the sticker and then kind of adjusting those trimmings, filling things out. And this one I just cut right there on the page with my precision cutter. So those look pretty good. Let's drop in the rest of the box stickers. I also remembered I needed to cut out the excess sticker that's overlapping in the holes. So I'll just use my precision cutter for that as well. And I did three of them and I was like, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but I was like getting ready to move on. And then I realized, oh yeah, I forgot one. I will go back and do that right now. Okay, so I think we're actually done here with the design. 
So next we're gonna move on to filling in my monthly goals. I just went ahead and numbered the goals for a little bit of aesthetics, really. The numbers really are arbitrary. And then I'm gonna label the sides with the type of goal that each box is going to hold. For my first goal here, I have the goal to finish my 2024 lineup spreads, basically and then get those into the shop, anything that's different from what's in there now. I have some ideas of things that I wanna do and it's nothing that I have readily available. So I need to complete the new layouts, hopefully by the very first week of December so I can get started on the lineup and then list the items in the shop the following week, the second week of December. Things are gonna to start to get really crazy the closer we get to the end of the month, so the sooner I can get that done, the better. Also, I wanna spend five or more hours per week on that production, and then I need to work on focus days of Wednesday and Sunday so I can maximize my time. Next, we are going to, again, kind of focus in on my progress with my typing speed. I just want to maintain this month. I've found that if I don't practice every day or like every other day minimum, that I definitely start to lose the muscle memory. So I want to continue the outline of the course that I have and try to perfect the skills. Also, I want to spend three or more hours per week on practice. And this time I'm going to aim for 30 minute segments daily. So breaking it up in just 30 minutes a day, but spread that out throughout the week so that I don't lose that muscle memory. And then at the end of the month, I will do a test just to see if I was able to maintain that 35 words a minute. And then for my next goal, which is my health goal, I'm going to try to maintain or lose weight if things go perfectly um, through nutrition. And then at the end I added and exercise, but I'm gonna be focusing mostly on nutrition. So I've been doing one meal a day fasting for quite a while now, and that's been going really good, but I'm gonna to try to do an extended fast this month. I also need to move more, so I'm gonna add that in that exercise bit. So we'll do that. Also, I need to focus in on eating more veggies and protein and cutting out the bread and sugar. It's going to be a hard time of year to do that, so I will give myself grace if that doesn't all work out, but that'll be the plan. And then also focusing more on clean eating. And finally, we have a self-care goal, which is to try to enjoy this holiday season and take time away from work. It's gonna be hard since I, I do wanna do a lot more at the end of the month as far as videos, but I also don't want to, you know, just get too caught up in work. So I'm gonna schedule some holiday events and activities throughout December, compress work days hopefully, and try to build in more free time through those compressed hours and days. And then continuing my weekly friend and family time blocks so I don't neglect that social aspect either. Okay, so we're on to the weekly task area and I'm just going to go ahead and set up the week spans here on each of the four boxes. That way I'll know what I'm working towards each week. And now I'll start laying in week one, looking at the goals we just set. I have to complete those 2024 layouts. I also added the listing part of that goal already on week two. And I'm gonna devote five or more hours to that, hopefully on Wednesdays and Sundays. I've got the keyboarding practice from goal two built in. I have my scheduling the holiday event. Where I have a cookie swap at the end of the week, so that should work. Building in those time with friends that I've been maintaining. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a workout with friend time, which is really helpful. And then also I'm gonna put in 
trying to work out 30 minutes minimum per day, just as a nice reminder when I look at these tasks to build that in. Of course, I'll be doing lots of filming, so trying to film ahead, keeping track of what I'm going to try to fit in for the week. It's a little bit longer list and more to keep track of. I'm sure there'll be more to add in, but for now, that should do it and get things started for December. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Also too, go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.